Hey all, AK here. I've teamed up with Vespers and the Warp Academy crew to bring all of you some free new tutorials and free production tools. You can learn more about me on my website, aktunes.com, or check out my trainer profile back at Warp Academy. Don't forget to click this link and grab the free download so you can follow along with this tutorial. All right, let's get to the good stuff. Today, I'm going to talk about MIDI authoring. Live generally has a bad rap when it comes to its MIDI editing capabilities. And while there are definitely some solid tools in other DAWs, the thing that I love about Live's MIDI editor is its fold functionality. You've probably noticed how fold works already, but in case you haven't, if you draw a MIDI clip and then draw some notes, you can collapse the grid to show you only the notes in the phrase. So let's draw two chords. The first chord will be A minor, which is A, C, and E. The second chord will be C major, not feeling adventurous today, so C, E, and G. Now, what's reflected down here in the MIDI editor are the six notes we've chosen and all the notes in between. If I'm happy with this MIDI and I press fold, it eliminates the gaps between the notes and only shows me the notes that are being played in this clip. In effect, folding the distance between unused notes. I think this was probably intended for percussion-based MIDI, where many notes are not relevant in a musical phrase. Let me show you how this function can be exploited to write cool music in any key. In the description for this video, you can download the video pack, which is basically just a zip file containing a folder of MIDI files, which are ostensibly a bunch of different scales in the key of C. The key, no pun intended, is how you use these files with Live's fold feature. Let's say I want to write a line in B Dorian, and let's say I really don't know the notes in B Dorian, hint the A major scale, but anyway, I can go to my MIDI folder here, I can select C Dorian, which is the mode we want to use but not the key we want to use, and bring this MIDI clip onto a MIDI track. Now I have the notes in C Dorian. So I'll transpose this by selecting everything using Command A, and use the down arrow key to transpose all these notes down a half step to B. Now I have the notes in B Dorian in two octaves. If I press fold now, and perhaps you can see where this is going. And then command A to select all the notes again and delete them. What I'm left with is an empty grid with only the notes in B Dorian. So now if I'm penciling in the notes, I can't choose a note that's out of key or that's out of the musical scale. You still have to write interesting music. It doesn't do all the work for you, but at least you can spend time working within the confines of a single musical scale, especially if guess, check, and loop is the way you like to write melodies. It's worth noting that Live has a plugin that does this called Scale, which is a bit more automated, but I find the scale MIDI effect to be slightly unpredictable in the way it reacts. My grid-based approach preserves the melodic vertical while minimizing your margin for error when you're composing stuff. One thing that I would add is that after you've transposed and folded, depending on what kind of line you're trying to write, you might benefit from using Command Shift Up or Command Shift Down to send your in-scale notes up or down several octaves. Notice how this expands the grid even when there aren't notes there. And as long as you keep the MIDI editor focused on that clip, your grid slots won't disappear. So you can sort of loop it and then use your pencil to evolve the melody. If this is your kind of thing, then it's definitely time to invest in a push or some sort of gridded controller thingy, because this is what it's all about. That's all for this video. So 
that's it for this video. If this was useful to you guys, do us the favor of liking this video so we can bring you more. Also make sure you click this link to grab a free download of all the files we built in this tutorial. Warp Academy is a huge library of production courses and free tools, synth patches, samples, templates, custom racks. It's an amazing resource for you to level up your production skills and find your chops with legit quality stuff. See you next time.